Okay, Sam. Oh, you know what? I don't even think we need that Pursuit logo in the background. You've got, you're, you're branded up. No but need. But where's the socks? Oh, I, I still need socks. Socks see, are coming. Socks see what I did coming. there? See what yeah. I did there? I just messed with You got the shorts though, dude. <laughs> I'm, all, I'm all wrapped out. I'm all wrapped out. We got a bunch of people in the house. Got, got to be repping, you know? Okay. So you guys had OAC team trials today here yeah. at Pursuit. Uh, biggest thing you took out of, first off, pretty high level wrestling for middle schoolers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Extremely high level. Um, I'm, I, I'm impressed to see how, how high level it's gotten. You know, me and Bracken both graduated high school in 2017. And, um, you know, it's, it's grown so much since then. So it, it's been insane. That makes but, me feel so old. I mean, it, we're, we're only 23. So, I mean, we're still, we, we can still roll around a little bit, but yeah. So it's, uh. We're, 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 we're not that much older, you know. I'm a 98 grad of high school. You know, that, that <laughs> makes me 43 if you didn't know that. Yeah. But uh, when you guys get to come here and do wrestling every day, right? You're doing media. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was taking pictures all day today, so. What's your job? Is, like, officially, what do you do and what is your role here at Pursuit? Yeah, so I pretty much just run all the social media. I run the Instagram, the Facebook, the Twitter, um, TikTok. I just post daily content on there every day, um, videos, pictures, all the practices. And, yeah, it's just pretty much my, my job. Um, and we have a bunch of other stuff in the works, too, that we're kind of behind the scenes on right now. But So you have a journalism degree from Otterbein, right? Yeah, correct. Coach correct, Brent yeah. Rastetter? Yeah, yeah, Brent Rastetter, Otterbein. Yeah, I just graduated from Otterbein this past May. So I'm brand new here. They brought me in this past December. Um, and I used that as my internship this past spring, and I'm doing this full time. So it's an awesome, awesome opportunity for me to still be involved in wrestling and, you know, just really do what I love. I'm like, I, I was running the Central High wrestling rankings for a long time. Instagram account, I would rank all the kids in Central High, top 20 each weight class. Um, so I've always been involved in wrestling media, and I just, I love it so much, and I get to do it full time for Pursuit. So it's an awesome opportunity. So I'm like your professor. If they saw how I do social media, it's all shotgun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's probably yeah. If, if they could be like, here's what don't do. Yeah. Don't do what this guy does, right? <laughs> yeah. But, right. Like I, I just shoot a lot of stuff, right? But, yeah, yeah. Well, that, well, I, I've been watching your stuff since probably 2017, 2018. When I kind of started getting interested in this kind of stuff. Um, probably even before that when I was in high school. Um, but yeah, so I, I've, you know, I've taken tips from you. I mean, I've, I've done a few interviews with people and stuff like that, but you know, I just enjoy, uh, being behind the scenes and just like knowing, being like the all knowing guy of wrestling, like people would call me Boro fan junior. Cause I just like know who all the kids are in every weight class. And I love ranking kids. And, uh, I just know, I, I just know everyone in the community. I know everyone's name, especially Ohio wrestling, but starting to branch out and, uh, do stuff with other States too. And just knowing about other States and more nationally known kids and stuff like that. So, yeah, but I post too much is what I've been told. No, no, heck no, heck no. Are you serious? No, no. I, I, what I, I've been told is you post too much. No, I, 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 I think there's a fine balance, but you'll post all, all, all the things from the events, you know, which is what you want. You want to get a bunch of clips from all the events, you know, post that. And then when the next event comes around, you post the next one and you even post like throwback stuff. So I think the way you're doing it is perfectly fine. Um, I you think, can be mean. I don't care. I'm no, not going to throw the no, camera or nothing. No, heck no. I'm, I've, I, I'm a very, I'm a very avid user. I probably have more YouTube watch time accumulated on, on all your stuff more than anyone else. I, I claim that right now. Um, but yeah, I, I, th I think you're doing it the right way. And I, 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 I say, keep doing it. Cause so many kids like me that come up and love watching wrestling, like love seeing what's going on in the community and et cetera. Um, they binge watch all your stuff. So, and, and I know there's more kids out there like me. Cause I have those kids messaging me about, Hey, who's this kid? Who's that kid? When am I going to wrestle him? When am I going to wrestle, you know, so kids always want to know that stuff. They're interested. Craig talks about, um, pursuit and this is like your guys's pursuit that's like yeah. if you work here it's like a passion driven mm -hmm. thing and you're dealing with wrestling what is your passion for wrestling as far as where do you see yourself in five ten what's your vision moving forward with you and wrestling media i i i think i i honestly don't even know um but just probably continuing to do, do what i'm doing now and just on, on a much larger scale um right now it just it, it, it's kind of small like i'm trying to i'm trying to post a lot of content on uh on TikTok and like a lot of shorter videos i think that's kind of the way to go now um cut up a lot of the longer form content make it shorter form um to kind of reach like a more audience because kids attention spans nowadays are just so short a lot of a lot of kids don't like sitting through a whole you know, 10 minute long video or even shorter than that even. Um, so two, two to three minutes is, and it's, it's gotten shorter. Even, even that, it's gotten shorter. even, even less than a yeah. minute. Yeah. That's what people so, say about your stuff's too long. Yeah, exactly. They tell me that I'm like, yeah. I don't, but I'm not doing it for you. Right. I, I know exactly. Exactly. Yeah. So what I, what I've been seeing, cause I have a brother who's in the fitness industry. He's a fitness influencer. And so I follow all, everyone with the fitness industry is doing. Um, I take a lot of clips and I'll, and I'll cut them up to get them la less than 20 seconds. And I'll go in a final cut pro, which is editing software that I use. I put subtitles over the videos. Um, you know, 
Brack and showing a technique or whatever the case may be. And I'll post that. And those videos do really well. The shorter form content is the way to go right now um, on TikTok and Instagram Reels. Um, so it still still film the long form content, um, but trim it up into shorter shorter clips and then release that. It can be a podcast. It can be anything because there's little bits and pieces. And then what you do is you funnel that audience when they scroll past your uh, Instagram Reel or your TikTok. Then they'll want to click on the full link to see the whole video. So that's how you can get, get guys to go over to your long form content. Um, it just takes a little bit of time to, to get them over there. So, This is why you're like a velociraptor and I'm just like <laughs> the extinct dinosaur. Like, no, heck well, no. I'm just telling you that you're playing ch uh, chess and I'm playing <laughs> eating dirt. I'm not, hey, well, I'm not you, even you, playing you, checker. You have, you have all, all the Ohio wrestling history, you know, and, and there's so much content that can be trimmed up from all the 13 plus years of history that you have, you know, 15 plus years, whatever, since 2007. So, um, yeah, there's so much content that can be taken and put up into little, little shorter bits and repost on Instagram Reels and TikTok that can go easily go viral. So that's that's for sure the way to go right now. And uh, I'm trying to bring the wrestling community up, up to speed with a lot of that stuff because um, that's what everyone else in the fitness space is doing. Um, and so I, I get a lot of I get a lot of inspiration from there for sure with my younger brother being in it. So. I love it. You got me fired up now. Yeah, I love it. The Craig got me fired up. You got me fired up. Try my best, man. Try my best. Wrestling, wrestling media is 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 in such like an infancy stage right now, and it can be it can be so much better. Um, but we have people, you know, you, me, Rob Gore, um, among other people that are you know leading the way. The mighty cruiser, Mark Neiman. Yeah, Mark Neiman. Yeah, inside the circle, Mark and Sean. Like I I start, I, I binge watch all their videos since 2013 when I first started wrestling high school. They're the ones kind of got me into this whole space in the first place. So there's so many final people involved in wrestling media um, that are constantly putting out content. It's helped grow the sport to where it is now. So you just have to keep keep pushing through. And there's there, there's new ways about doing things now. So you just have to keep adapting and, and keep pumping out the content. We're on the right track. Breck, you got any questions for him over here? You got a question for Sam? Oh, man. How PC do you want this interview? No, I want it PC. Bracken, we'll, we'll wait. Listen, we'll wait until we're off camera for that one. Br 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 Bracken's always asking me, hey, Sam, what, what place did this kid get this past year's state tournament? And I and he just expects to know off the top of my head. And I don't follow the brackets and all that as much as I used to. I still know a little bit. <laughs> Hey, hey, what was this, what, what was the final score in my match in the state finals with Bryce Hepner in 2017? It was 2-0. I know that. So just like stuff like there that. There you go. Boom. Did you hear that? He knows. He knows. There, it's just stuff like that. So right. I, 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 I love wrestling. Super passionate about it. Um, I never had the most success in terms of wins and losses, but uh, obviously, you know, I, I was at Otterbein the past five years. Also for Brent Rastetter. I had a phenomenal, phenomenal experience there. Um, he had a big impact on my life. And uh, yeah, so I, I'm, I'm here where I am now. And I'm super thankful that Pursuit opened up and I, lo I love where I am now. So it's an awesome experience.